Let's analyze one of the most interesting matches in this start of the season. Benitez, defensive system versus Xavi's tactical tweaks. Celta in a 5-3-2, compact block, avoiding passes between the lines so that Joao Felix and Ilkay Gundogan, who were Barca's main threats, couldn't receive. Barcelona in possession, in a 2-3-5, although it was common to see a centre-back alone. In the first line, and Cancelo pushing up into the offensive line. Barcelona couldn't hurt Celta because Ferran Torres and Marcos Alonso weren't able to win the 1v1s when they received wide. This meant that in the defensive transition, Barcelona had many problems stopping Celta. Poor counter-pressing and Celta found many spaces against Barcelona's aggressive structure in possession, scoring Celta in this play. And the other goal after a corner, Barcelona's defensive block was too narrow, another weakness for Xavi's team in this match, leaving Celta players a mark, allowing them to progress. After the break, Xavi switched to a 3-4-3 with Gavi inside and Lamin Jamal open on the right, although Barcelona wasn't able to find players between the lines, and neither Ferran Torres nor Joao Felix were capable of generating danger on the left side. The key to open Benitez wall, Balde and Rafinha, the flank free for the left back with Rafinha inside overloading Celta's defensive line. This allowed Barcelona to complete the comeback in just 10 minutes, space between the lines appear with Joao Felix receiving along and giving a great pass to Lewandowski. In the equalizer, with Cancelo in the gap between fullback and centre-back, six Barcelona players against five Celta defenders, a pass from Rafinha to Cancelo and a brilliant move by Lewandowski. Celta dropping to defend the goal and Lewandowski waits, receiving a mark. In the winning goal, Cancelo's unpredictability with a late run, Gavi's vision and top technical level to put in a perfect cross. Celta de Vigo did everything, but in the end, Barcelona won in a very important match for their confidence.